So um, I'm a I'm a, I'm excited about uh, um, making this great video because uh, um, I've got something uh, really um, crucial to uh, share uh, with you. Wow! How to stop saying um and ah? <laughs> Are you still watching? Probably not. If I started my meeting or presentation this way, you would definitely not be focused on my message anymore. I can't believe you're still here watching this video. We all use these words in every language we speak. I try hard not to say them, but I still say them sometimes. In this video, I'll show you why non-native English speakers say um and ah so much and how to stop saying um and ah so that you can become confident speaking English. Um, ah, like, you know, and so are called filler words. So is my filler word. I use it way too much. So you can't have it. It's mine, okay? They're filler words because they fill in the space between what we might normally say and we fill it with some noise. And we get pretty good at doing this where we fill in some extra space in there because we don't like to hear silence. So we fill it in with, um, uh, and that's a big problem that many of us have. Let's look at the importance of clear communication in business. In the business world, how we speak and, and what we say matters a lot. Many times when we are speaking, we use words like um, ah, like, and you know. These words might seem small, but they can change how others see us. They can make us look less confident and less prepared. Let's talk about one of my clients. I'll call him Raj. He's an intelligent manager at a big company. He knows his job very well. One day during a big meeting, Raj was speaking English. Raj is not a native English speaker. And he said, um, and ah, many, many times. People started to notice. And after the meeting, a friend told him that he was saying um and ah way too much. And that made others feel that Raj wasn't confident in his message. People in his audience were thinking that he didn't really believe what he was saying. Then Raj came to me and asked me to help and wondered how he could stop saying um and ah so much. And we went to work. So let's take a minute and think about why it's not good to use too many filler words. First is trust and credibility. When we talk in business, people need to trust us. If we say um a lot, they might start thinking, we don't really know what we're talking about. And trust is a big part of business. We always want people to believe us. Clear communication is also important. Words are tools. We use them to share ideas. But if we add too many extra words, our ideas get lost. It's like putting too much water in juice. The taste disappears. Like our message disappears. Great communicators make it easy for the audience to understand the message. Just like at the beginning of this video, as I used way too many filler words, I made you, my audience, work really hard <laughs> trying to listen to me. Be nice to your audience. Make it easy for your audience to listen. Using less ums and ahs will really help you have much more clear communication. Also, 
We can gain confidence in speaking. Confidence is a powerful thing. When we stop saying um and ah so much, we show confidence. And feeling confident makes us do our job even better. Think about it. Have you ever heard a really great communicator? Like on a TED Talk or somebody that you really admire, they get up in front of an audience. Have you ever heard them using um and ah all the time? Probably not. It's really hard to be a great communicator and use um and ah. I might go as far as to say it's impossible to be a great communicator when you are always saying um and ah. So there's my filler word. Did you catch it? So why do we use so many filler words? The first reason is that using filler words is a habit for many of you. You started using filler words regularly when learning to speak in English. You probably started when you're using your native language. But when you're using a different language and you get stuck or different things happen, you start using filler words. And you've probably always done it when you were trying to speak English right from the beginning. And many of you also use filler words way too much in your native language, as you'll see when we go through here. We also do this when we're searching for the right word to say. And it's very common for you to be searching for that right word to say in English. And during this time, you're probably going to make an um or an ah while you're thinking. Um, uh, what's that word? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, I can't remember that word. Um, and this happens all the time. <laughs> Over the years, I've taken some photos of my clients trying to find the right word to say. I took a little screenshot of them. You might smile, you might laugh, and you might relate to this. But you notice, oh, they all do the same thing with their face. Let's take a quick look at them. Looking for that right word from that magic guy up there in the corner. Pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> Can you relate? Also, we think much faster than we talk. Multiple studies show that we think faster than we speak. In fact, some studies show that we think 10 times faster than we talk. And it's this large difference that makes us use filler words when our mouth isn't going as fast as our brain. So our brain's thinking about, what can we say next? What are we going to say next? But our mouth can't keep up. And we end up getting stuck and putting in, uh, well, uh, because of that big difference. And that's a big reason why. We also do this when we're nervous. When we have that important meeting or presentation, we often find ourselves nervous. It's really normal. And this is especially true if you're speaking in English. The more pressure you feel, the more that you'll say um and ah. What can you do? Here are some tips that I'm going to give you that will help you use less filler words like um and ah when you're working in English. First, we have to find the problem. The first step to fixing a problem is being aware that the problem exists. And one way to do this, to really find out whether you're using a lot of extra ums and ahs, likes and you knows, is to record yourself speaking. Listening to your recording later was gonna help you. Hear how often you say um, ah, like, you know. I had a client that would put his phone beside his computer. And when he was doing online calls, he would record himself. And he would later watch and listen to his recording. And he would count the number of filler words he'd use. He was amazed at 
how many times he would say like, and you know, and he had a really professional high end job and he was always saying like, and you know, well, this stopped quickly because once he became aware that he was saying this and he didn't really understand that he was saying this all the time, but after recording himself speaking, he really became aware of how often he said this. The next thing we could do is have our friends come to the rescue. Using a friend or coworker can really help. They can tell you when you say um or ah. They could raise a hand, they could snap their fingers, they could clap their hands, or they could give a signal. This way, you know, and you can try to stop saying these filler words. I do this with my clients all the time. I start clapping and they stop saying filler words immediately. Every um, I clap. Every ah, I clap. But I just make a lot of noise. Well, this will make it stop very, very quickly. And I mean quickly. Within 24 hours, clients stop saying um and ah all the time. It's just a habit. The next thing you can do is just take your time. If you're rushing while speaking, this can make us say um and ah way more often. Talking slower helps you think about your words. And this way, your talk becomes much clearer. So just take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Even when you're nervous or it's an important meeting, just take your time. Also, and this is maybe the best one, is to replace filler words with pauses. Instead of saying, um, take a small break. Think a bit and then speak. Pauses can make you look more thoughtful and not confused. And pauses give you time to use better words and communicate your thoughts more clearly. At first, it'll probably feel uncomfortable having silence when you're speaking English, but soon you'll find great benefits in becoming comfortable using pauses in your speaking. So instead of trying to find those perfect words, just speak the best you can. And if you need to pause, like I just did, it's okay. You don't have to fill the silence with an um. If I'm thinking of what to say next and I'm here and I'm a little bit stuck, well, why don't I just pause? And then I can continue. It's okay. It's a lot better than filling that space with an um or an ah. Why does it matter? Why do fewer filler words matter when you're speaking English at work? Business is about sharing ideas, making plans, and getting things done. And for this, we need to have good communication. If we speak clearly, People understand us better. They trust us more. Also, many people in business use English as a second language, just like you. So using simple and clear English without ums and ahs helps everyone. And there has never, ever been a situation where your audience benefited from hearing you say um or ah. Never. It never helps. Why do we do it? Let's think about my client, Raj, again. He took these tips I shared with you and I shared with him, and he practiced. Almost immediately, he stopped his habit, and he started speaking without saying, um, too much. Especially when I would make a lot of noise every time he said, um, and ah, every um, every ah, you stop very quickly when that's what you hear. People around him noticed. They told him he sounded way more confident, sounded more like a leader. And Raj really started to feel so confident inside about his speaking because of this one really simple change. Everyone says, um, and ah, sometimes it's normal. 
I say these words, but in business, speaking clearly can make a huge difference. It helps in team meetings. It helps when talking to your boss, it helps in talking to your staff, your clients, any stakeholders, making deals. So let's speak with fewer filler words. It'll help you be more successful and it'll completely build your confidence as you're trying to be a leader speaking English at work. Give it a try. My challenge to you is to record yourself speaking or take a recording of yourself and count how many ums and ahs that you say in a minute. If you're really, if you're really, really brave, I would love for you to post how many ums or ahs that you say in a minute in the comments below. It would be great to see what happens. The biggest, the biggest amount of ums and ahs that I counted was 31 in 30 seconds. Let's see if you can beat that. 31 in 30 seconds. That's what I counted from one of my clients in one of our early meetings that we had. You can do this. Get rid of your ums and ahs today. You'll be much more confident. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.